morning, class. You have hair in your intestines. What? Toot, toot. Nacho and Trixie. Hello, little Trixie. Hello, Nacho. I see you back there. Hey, Phoebe. I got these glasses for us to wear. Cool. Let's put them on. Ha, ah, we look cool. Totally cool. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Hans. Today we are learning all about the squishy human body. Can anyone name an organ in the body? Okay, fizzy. Um, potatoes? Um, no, potatoes is not part of the human body. Uh, Phoebe, you wanna take a guess? An organ in the human body, um, bananas. Okay guys, you're talking a lot about fruit and vegetables. We're talking about the human body. I think I have something right here that can help us. Squishy human body. There's 21 removable body parts. If you touch right here, it's very, very squishy. And we have the human body magnetic puzzle for kids. Um, Phoebe, does Miss Hands look a little different today? Yes, I can't quite put my finger on it, but she does look very different. Uh, Fizzy, Phoebe, is there something you'd like to share with the class? Yes, Miss Hands, you look very different. And we can't quite put our finger on it. Oh, well that's because you guys are wearing your x-ray glasses. Go ahead and take them off. X-ray glasses? Oh! <coughs> yep, now you look normal. X-ray glasses? What are you talking about? <coughs> oh, yep, that's better. Do I look more like myself now? Yes, you do! Yes, you do! Fizzy and Phoebe, with those x-ray glasses, you can see through skin, even through muscle, all the way through to my bones. So what you were looking at was a skeleton, just like that little one I drew on the board. Okay, so I'm not a very good artist, but with the help of this squishy, squishy human, I can teach you more about the human body. So what we can do is take out all the pieces very carefully and learn about the human body. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see, ah! Ow! Oh, Fizzy, it's okay. We were going to take the pieces out anyway. You were? Yes, I was. Let's go to the exam table. Oh, what does that say, Miss Hands? It says, organizer. It's an organizer for organs. Oh, I get it so funny. Let's organize these organs. So inside of the skull, we have the very squishy brain. Okay, we can take that out. Here's our brain. It goes right here on our organizer. Skull cap here. And our skull goes right here. Hey guys, right now your brain is thinking about your brain. Your brain is the softest, squishiest part of your body. Oh, if it's so soft, what does it feel like? The adult brain feels a lot like jello or gelatin. And a kid's brain is thicker than pudding. Oh, wow! Here's our super squishy stomach. Goes right up here. When you eat, your stomach stretches. And that's what makes you feel full. Muscles in your stomach wall squeeze food and mix it up. So what protects your stomach from stomach acid that breaks down your food? A layer of thick slime protects the stomach from stomach acid. So the stomach doesn't digest itself. And your stomach squeezes food out of it and into your intestines. You have small and large intestine. Your large intestine is actually shorter than your small intestine. But your small intestine is very, very long. Look at that. Ooh, so squishy. I think the wizard lizard has a gross <laughs> alert for us. People release gas an average of 14 times a day. Toot toot, ha ha ha. Imagine how often it is if they eat beans, ha ha, toot toot. Did you know you have hair in your intestines? What? Hair inside of your intestines? 
Yes, they're called villi. They help absorb nutrients and pass them along into your blood. Up next, we have the lungs. Nice, big lungs for breathing. We're going to be talking about the lungs and the diaphragm that's right here. So they work together? Yeah, the lungs bring oxygen into the body and the diaphragm contracts and draws air through the trachea and into the lungs. Wow! Did you know that hiccups are sudden movements in your diaphragm? Hiccup, hiccup. Does your nose do anything important? Did you know that nose hairs catch dust particles and dust sticks to snot? When you blow your nose, you blow all those particles out of your nose. Oh, that's so interesting. And here's your heart and your heart pumps oxygen to your lungs. The heart is about the same size as your fist. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. And blood carries oxygen and nutrients all around to your body. I think the wizard lizard has a gross <laughs> alert for us. Don't pick your scabs. It's your body's own band-aid. The clump of sticky dry blood protects your cut while it heals underneath. And it will fall off once its job is done. Here's your esophagus and your trachea. So your mouth is used for eating and for breathing. And your throat starts out as one tube and then it becomes two tubes. Your trachea and your esophagus. Did you know a cough is a powerful blast of air when you're trying to clear something out of your trachea? And a sneeze is like a cough, but it comes out of your nose. Can you sneeze with your eyes open? Most people can't. Air goes down your trachea and food goes down your esophagus and into your stomach. Up next, we have the kidneys here. And the kidneys are connected to your bladder. So you have two kidneys, but you can live with just one kidney. Blood flows into your kidneys for filtering. They can filter all of your blood as much as 400 times a day. And we have a liver right here. You can't live without your liver. And because the liver stores nutrients, it's one of the healthiest animal organs you can eat. Ew. The liver is the only human organ that can regrow if it's injured. Oh, that is so interesting. Okay, so we have our arm muscle right here. Whoa, our muscle don't roll away. And we have a leg muscle here. Are muscles very important? Yes, they are, Phoebe. By the way, your hair is standing straight up in the air. Oh, it's my new do. So why are muscles so important? Muscles connect your bones together so they can move. Oh, that is pretty important. What about your skin? Your skin keeps your body parts inside of your body. Um, that's super important. Yeah, and it protects and regulates your body temperature. Oh, okay, lots of important stuff that your skin does. Did you know what your largest organ is? It's your skin. And let's put some bones on here. We have our rib cage here, and this is going to protect our lungs and heart and lots of our organs. Here's our shoulder, spine, and hips. That's also known as our backbone. The big bone that connects our shoulder to our elbow is our humerus bone. And then there are two bones right here. Radius and ulna. And that's connected to your hand. Your big thigh bone is called your femur. And then you have two bones below that, below your knee. Your tibia and fibula. And those are connected to your foot. Bones are living, growing body parts that need blood to bring in oxygen and nutrients. So are bones pretty important? I'd say so. Without them, you'd be a blob. Oh, that's true. So now that we know all about organs, muscles, and bones, let's put them back in our body. First, we put our bones back in. We have our arms back in. We can put our arm muscle back in. Leg muscle back in. Ah, our arm. Let's put our shoulder, spine, and hips in here. And our skull, we'll place our brain and put the skull cap on. And that goes on top of our spine. Time for some organs. But we forgot a leg over here, so we need to put our femur in. And then our tibia and fibia. The knee bone's connected to the thigh bone. Oh, sorry, back to what we're doing. 
and our foot. Time for some organs. We'll put our lungs in here. We have our esophagus and trachea, and then our heart going right here. We have our diaphragm under here at the bottom of our lungs. Our kidneys go in here. Our liver, they're so very sticky. And our stomach is up here. And our intestines go all down here. Uh-oh, gotta put them all back in place here. Stomach back up here. And our rib cage is protecting all of these organs. And we snap our body back together. Oh, there's that puzzle you told us about. That's right, Fizzy, let's check it out. So it's the human body and there's 17 pieces. So on one side, it shows the bones and on the other side, it shows our organs, bones, muscles, and nerves. Let's put the head right here. Looks like we have the rib cage on this side and our heart and lungs on the other side. I see part of the spine and pelvis. So on this side, we have intestines. I see the liver there. We can pop that in place. And here is the other side. We need some arms. I see an arm bone. That looks like the humerus. Another humerus bone right here. This looks like the radius and ulna. So this side is showing muscle, and this side is showing nerves. We need some hands. Those look like hand bones. And the hand bones with nerves on them. Here's a big femur bone, which is your thigh bone. Now they're showing the nerves on this side. And on the other side, they're showing the muscles. Tibia and fibula. And we have feet. Okay, class, I hope you enjoyed learning about the squishy human body. Woo, we sure have learned a lot about the human body. Yes, we have. Hey, we should go put those x-ray glasses on again. Yeah, they were super cool. Hey, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you have a fizzy, fantastic day. And we will see you next time. Okay, class, I'll see you next time.